Hi, my name is Fred Dixon. I'm one of the developers of BigBlueButton. I want to show you what we've been doing in a recent build, developer build, of BigBlueButton 0.90, which is the next release of BigBlueButton coming up. I want to show you what we've been doing to support WebRTC audio in BigBlueButton. This will yield high quality audio generated from the browser, not Flash, if you're using browsers that support WebRTC, which include Firefox and Chrome. So we have a build running on this server, webrtc.blindsidenetworks.com. Blindside Networks is the company that started the Big Blue Button project in 2009. And we've been working on trying to add support for WebRTC audio into it. So I want to show you here how far we've come. And I encourage you, after you watch this video, to try it out on this server, since the best way to hear the differences in the audio is to actually try it out. So I'm going to join Big Blue Button. And this is very familiar UI, but user experience in terms of the audio is different. So first off, the browser, not Flash, the browser is asking me, can I access your microphone? So I'm going to click allow. The next thing we do is we bring the user into an audio test room. So it's joined a session on the Big Blue Button server, specifically free switch, and it's doing an echo test right now. So this allows me to hear myself, and if I hear myself in my uh, headset, yeah, everything looks good, I click yes. And now it's switched from the echo test room to the actual Big Blue Button session. So at this point, I know I can join and my audio is working. Click join, and here I am. So the interface for Big Blue Button now picks up exactly like it was in 0.81 for muting, unmuting, and so on. But the audio is going from the browser to free switch directly through UDP audio, not TCP based audio from Flash client to Big Blue Button server to free switch. So it's a much shorter path, much lower latency audio, and I really encourage you to try it out. So I'm going to do this again. But this time I'm going to join and I'm going to say that my audio, I can't hear myself in the headset when I do the echo test. And this is important because one of the challenges with people using Big Blue Button today is they might join the audio bridge and they may not realize their microphone doesn't work. So if I allow, and let's say I say no, I can't hear myself right now, which means the microphone's not working. So in Big Blue Button, you can see we have these callouts to help the user uh, make the changes necessary to their microphone. In this case, we're going to use the browser to change the microphone. So I click here. I'm using my quick cam. So let's try the front microphone, and I click Done. And the last bit, as it's shown here, is I've got to reload the page. It's because I've actually changed the audio settings. I reload, and now I'm going to go back and do the audio test again. So yes, can I hear myself? Yes, I can. And now I'm going to join the bridge, and there. Okay, so let's, let's do this in Firefox, and you can see the differences in the UI. Okay, so this is Firefox. Fred Dixon Firefox. Okay, I'm going to join. And what you're going to see is the visual prompts we have for the user are different because the UI that Firefox presents to choose a microphone is different than Chrome. But again, the key thing here is that the audio is going to go through the browser, not Flash. So here I choose the microphone I want, to my front mic, and I'm going to share it. I get into an audio test. Can I hear myself? Yes. And now I'm going to join the conference bridge. So it says yes. So at this point, I'm hearing myself back and forth because I've joined twice. I can hear the latency. This is a really good way to test the latency. If you join into a Big Blue Button session from two browsers and mute yourself in one and then start talking, you can hear how long it takes for your audio to go from your microphone to the server and back again. And I can tell you with WebRTC Audio, the latency is really low. So I encourage you to try this out, give us feedback, and we'll be continuing to work on this when we get it part of Big Blue Button 0.90, the next release coming up.